My name is Carolyn Knight with the Santa Clara Valley Audubon Society and with me today is Keith Wandry from the city of Cupertino and uh, we're going to be taking a tour with y'all um, to see some of the wildlife here at McCollum Ranch. So this is, the nice thing is, awesome. we finally have water in the creek. Yes, I have to go over there and see it again. Yeah, we've got our song sparrow coming in. Um, right now, um, so this is, this is all of the animals we're able to get on video right uh, which is an important distinction because there's plenty here that are just a little cryptic um <laughs> for our work right uh, but with water in the creek we can actually see the birds going down and see yes. baths and foraging in the leaves which is great bath time for the chickadees that's always fun watching them it's be indiscreet fun. oh yeah beep, beep, beep. Oh, I think I'm gonna put over here. yeah golden crown sparrows are in so our migratory yeah i've birds. seen them i've seen them yeah Yep, scuttling around in the leaves. No. I mean, you <laughs> gotta keep the tree squirrels in. Yes. The, but they're not native to here. I mean, that's that's an Eastern yes, species. Yes. Dark eyed junco, however, is a native bird. Our little sparrows that are everywhere. Um, my favorite thing is they're always hiding underneath the trees at the start of the trail. And so yes. they, they'll just fly up and you just get these great flashes of white. Yeah. So like, especially underneath. The and, they, and you can, and you can, they can surprise you by being how close they are to you. And, uh, they're very, they're very colorful. So they're fun to look at and, and notice the, the different coloration and how it helps them to blend in like their head with the shadows and such. Yeah. It really breaks, breaks up their body shape. Little brush rabbits, they're everywhere. Um, Just recently, too, in the last few years, they boomed. Right? Yeah, and you know what happens when the brush rabbit's not quite quick enough? Yes, um, yes, a little, uh, a little uh, population management occurs. Yeah, it's right? it's um, the, the circle of life. Um, it's always always important to keep in mind. This almost looks like it got kicked in there or something. In its in its bill there, yeah. right? It looks a little <laughs> a little stunned. <laughs> yeah, apparently this 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 is a, a large, a full size grown rabbit. It couldn't the, the, this bird couldn't pick it up. It had to drag it across the ground while it was still kicking. Yeah, I mean, so. I mean, normally they're going after after birds. Yes, but, yes, yes, yes. So, but you know, easy meals and easy meal. Absolutely, take what you can get. Oh. Our morning doves. I, I mean, they're not bright, but I love them. <laughs> yeah, and and then I you can also down by the creek. They kind of blend in with the rocks really well. Yeah, and so you can be there, and you won't even be aware that they're there, and they'll just be really quiet, just sitting there. So the white-breasted nuthatch in its native habitat of concrete block. Oh, absolutely not. I mean, <laughs> well, around here, it's it's urban nature right? yeah yeah and it's... uh pecking it uh checking everything for edibles oh yeah on the, constantly that's what you do you sleep and sleep water and look water and look for food yep oh there's it's something it's got something that there. was that was a good oh. this is i mean it's, it's hatching a nut right now um <laughs> just trying to find a good place to get some leverage for that because the beaks aren't quite before. right You know, our wonderful coyotes. If you're lucky, you can spot them. Um, haven't haven't spotted them quite as often lately. Um, and I think. Yeah, they come and go, and then there's tendency if they have if they wander through, and if they if they find food, uh, then they they'll stick around, and they often will every day they'll do the same pattern it's, of walk. They're always. I mean, not so much anymore now that we've gotten all of that. And, and our gopher snake. Down. Yes, yes. Yeah. And our and our gopher snake, the native gopher snake. They are pretty. Looking for rodents. And pretty brown eyes and and uh you know the smell smell sensor in the top of their mouth. Right? Yeah. That's where their tongue is sticking out and forked so that they're more scent on one side, they know the animal or what they're looking for to eat is that direction. Yeah. So. Just a fascinatingly different 
way of interacting with the world. Yes, yes, yes. Evolutionary. Uh, what happened there? Yeah, we'll to, went down this path. Yeah, yeah. They're uh, they're always so much fun to to find. Yes. Oh. I mean, we got to acknowledge them, but man, the ground squirrels are kind of pests. Yeah, they can. <laughs> They can, well, it's, you know, it's a, they do, they are a food source. If you just get a predators to keep up with them. Yeah. <laughs> we can just keep the coyotes focused yeah. on these guys. Yes, um, yes. You know, like eat one thing at a time and just start with these guys. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, it's a youngster. They're scoping out the next spot to, to pull the burrow. Um, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they're pretty uh, industrious. Industrious, yes. Yeah, so there's the you know we can just get more predators to partake. Isn't that cute? Yeah, they are pretty cute, and then their their little their little hands are always so fascinating. How they handle and manipulate what they're eating, and even even you'll see them pull uh, like uh, their seeds on a weed top or something. They'll you know, the little hands will grab the stalk and pull it down to them, and they can eat it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, Pretty fascinating to watch. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, All and the camouflage. Them. Yes, beautiful yep. camouflage. Yeah. So the, the best trick for ground squirrel versus tree squirrel, the, the ground squirrels have spots, yep. um, and that, that eye ring is actually pretty distinctive. Yes. And right at the base here, we've got another of our bush dwelling animals. Yeah. Buick's friend. Yeah. Hiding out. And you can see the hole sizes there along the bushes too, so you know the kind of size of animals that use that particular burrow, right? Yep. Smaller animals will have the smaller holes. Cut so in again. Attention to the size of the animals. This close up of our ground squirrel before it zips away. They're always on the lookout for predators. Yes, um, indeed. And uh, it's a good, good reason. Yeah, <laughs> they're tasty. Uh, <laughs> One of one of our many crows. Yes. Ah. But I mean, we gotta appreciate the whales. Absolutely, and a couple of doves. Yeah. Moving in there, trying to mimic in there. Yeah. You know, got some white crowned sparrow. Yeah, white crowned sparrow there, and. Uh, yeah, there's a full adult a little, um, just out of focus. Little festival there. Oh yeah, got to visit the feeders. The males are just so pretty pretty and their calls are they're adorable adorable yes absolutely <laughs> yeah they're really they're really a, a wonderful bird and uh, they're pretty funny and how they move around and yeah. communicate with each other and the coast is clear sounds yeah <laughs> and uh, everybody follows and uh very cautious very cautious well i mean need to survive right? once again we've got another animal that is absolutely delicious to many many things many yes things. yes yeah <laughs> and the colorations of the males is gorgeous and as usual the females are a little bit more camouflaged a little bit less flamboyant yeah right yeah. And, uh... don't jump they never do but it's always and it's always a real treat when you find them like hiking a trail. Of course, it's it's always like a heart attack. <laughs> They'll just burst out of the bush. Yes, in front yes, of yes. In a sprint, and yep. they're extremely fast at running across the ground. Mm -hmm. It's it's short bursts of speed. It's not never a sustained. Flight, no, no endurance running. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's just one place to another to to get away from whatever's chasing them, which could be a person or. Coyote or, you know. Other animal fox. Bobcat. Bobcat. <laughs> yes. This guy was not watching the quail. No, um. no, no. No, he was not. He was actually watching the the deer that had just passed. And mama deer and two youngers. And then she, and it kind of gave me the evil, the evil eyes. It looks like it kind of has one eye that's a little bit. A little bit clouded there. Clouded, yeah. Yeah. And, uh. It's the. Uh, the batterings of living in an urban yeah environment. yeah it's, it's just, uh it's not easy yeah you know and uh but uh but they're there and they keep you know rodent population down as well right so yeah so uh it's a better pest control than what we can manage yes yes 
and it's a healthier pest control yeah than than what humans usually turn turn to, turn to. yeah yes if we could just yeah, i'd rather see bobcats than than snap traps yes yes or rodenticides oh gosh yeah and uh but beautiful beautiful animals they are and uh you're lucky when you get to see one that's very because true. they're a cat and they're pretty stealth <laughs> <laughs> By the time you see them, they know you're there. And they yeah, yeah, the yeah. Past fifteen minutes. That's right. That's right. That's right. Uh, Part of our our herd of black-tailed deer. Yeah. The young bucks. This is just. I mean, they're trying so hard, but it's not impressive. <laughs> no, and and actually seeing them, and uh, and until the bigger bucks come in, in uh, the season, these these guys will hang around with the females and and you know teenagers and uh hang out with the females and their their growing fawns yep and uh yeah it's uh gosh in the late spring you'll you'll spot them just kind of lurking underneath the oak trees in the afternoons <laughs> yeah <laughs> yep. you learn where their rest spots are so you don't accidentally startle them yes yes yeah get familiar with the areas and there's a nice buck yeah yeah that's their that's an impressive rack on him that's yeah. just... oh that's the yes that's the one with his his down uh he's got really interesting uh protection there if you think of all that rack there and if he's gonna get he's got a good protection against other antlers from a competing buck yeah he's got a lot of a lot of different angles there that will stop the other ones uh antlers from doing damage as opposed to those those younger bucks that barely had little nubs yes yes yeah you got a little, little spear the first year yeah. right and no you just get the glowing eyes yes <laughs> yes oh and here here comes he's <laughs> coming over and checking and it's amazing if you look at you look at the dust that's stirred up you know just when they're walking around and oh Get a little raccoon waddle in. Um, Creeks are always a always a favorite for them. Um, Lots of good stuff in there. So these have just been a couple of the animals that we can find here at McClellan Ranch. Um, it's got a ton of wildlife, and it's always worth a walk and a little bit of exploration. Hopefully, we'll see you on the trails.